Roswell Flight Test Crew here at CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, and I'm talking to Naveed Siddiqui over here at the Bell booth. How you doing, Naveed? Great. How are you? Welcome to Bell. Thanks very much. Now, behind us here, I see the Bell Nexus, but there have been some changes, frankly, some pretty significant changes from last year. Why don't you tell us what's new? Yeah, we're very excited to unveil the Nexus 4EX this year. If you were with us last year, you know we uh, unveiled the Nexus uh, 6HX, which was a hybrid electric propulsion model. This year we've got an all-electric, four-ducted uh, air taxi concept here, the Nexus 4EX. Uh, it's got a 60-mile range, still got four plus one configuration, and four passengers and one operator, all-electric, fully autonomous, and we're really excited to unveil it to the world. Now, if it's fully autonomous, why do you need an operator? So we feel like for public acceptance and for regulatory needs, especially in the early days, uh, to get the public really comfortable with the idea of autonomous air taxis, that there is going to need to be a lightweight operator, uh, you know, helping to augment the flight and, and, and really providing additional safety and additional safeguards for, uh, for the flights of the air taxi. Got it. All right, so I notice we're down to four rotors, which I don't doubt makes it a lot more lightweight. But like on an unmanned quadcopter, like the kind I fly all the time, if you lose a rotor, you've got very serious problems. Your flight's basically over. How are you addressing that with this machine? So efficiency is obviously a gain, but safety is still uh, paramount to us. Safety and quality above all, as we like to say at Bell. Uh, and we really feel like we're going to continue to develop the flight controls to prioritize safety. We also will have about six miles of reserve in the charge. And so while there is a 60 mile projected range for the Nexus 4EX, we will have six miles of, uh, of reserves to you know, help find either a, the closest vertiport or a safe landing spot for emergencies. So has this model flown yet? Not yet, we are still in development and we hope that within the next few years, within uh, the years of 2025 to 2030, that this will actually be out in the market and certified. All right, and then this, this is strictly banter. I love, you've got this whole little city, I'll show you guys in the video. You've got this whole little city with actual little flying nexuses, it's adorable. But one thing I did notice is you've got these little tiny quadcopters sort of scattered around too. Is, is that something else you're working on? Yeah, so the Nexus City is something we're really excited about. It's, it's really Bell's vision for how Bell Nexus and Bell Apt, which are the autonomous pod transport tail setting vehicles that you see on the rooftops, how those are going to integrate into the city of the future. So it's not just going to be Nexus air taxi, it's also going to be logistics transport, goods transport, and, and data transport. Uh, and so we really wanted to showcase that within the Nexus city. And so there's a lot of really powerful technology that's actually guiding uh, the drones to actually fly around. We've got our Bell Aeros platform, which we're also unveiling in the world this year at CES. Really excited about that. We've got cloud-based master scheduling. We've got predictive maintenance. We've got real-time telemetry feeds. A lot of really powerful and intelligent technology went into this demonstration, and so we're really excited about that. Well, Navik, thank you so much for telling us about it. I guess we're going to need to keep checking in with you. We're going to continue to innovate every single year. <laughs> well, thanks a lot. Thank you so much. And from CES 2020 in fabulous Las Vegas, Nevada, this is the Roswell Flight Test Cruise signing off. Thanks again. Thank you so much. Very cool.